Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 review and today we're doing another what if video so it's been a while since we've done one of these but yeah I thought I'd uh, do another one for today and yeah what we're doing as you've already seen by the title we're going to be making the sun only one mass of Jupiter and we're going to see uh, what happens to the solar system because I'm pretty sure it's probably going to fall apart. But before we begin, guys, I just want to say a quick thanks to um, everyone who has recently subscribed because we are less than 70 subscribers away from the big 5,000 mark. We are really, really close. So, yeah, let's see if we can try and get it before the weekends. So, that's about four days. Let's see if we can do it in the next four days because I definitely think it's doable. So, yeah, there's our little um, target there. So, if you're not subscribed already, definitely consider it. Helps on the journey to 5,000 because we are really, really close. And yeah, just a massive thanks to everyone who has um, stuck around and still watches videos every day or um, every day I might upload. Just a massive thanks to you guys as well. But yeah, let's um, get into this video now. So yeah, what if the sun here was only one Jupiter mass? I've never ever tried this. So we're going to see what happens because I reckon you stuff is not going to work well for the system here. So yeah, so currently at 1048, that's one sun. So if we put it to one is probably make the sun a gas giant yeah which it has so now the sun is just a gas giant it's eventually going to cool down so look how small it is as well it's just tiny look look all oh, the planets are just leaving oh no so yeah we'll try a few scenarios this um with this like auto orbit and stuff like that so if we uh look now we've gone realistic it, there's no sun so if we look um we look around can we even see the sun anymore is it just too small I, I can't spot the sun. Okay, so it's there. So if you turn them off, you can just about make out an orange gas giant. So that is just tiny now. So, um, yeah, let's continue here. And we're just going to see the whole system is just going to break apart. So, oh, dear. So we'll see Mercury, the inner planets. Everything closer will escape first because that's just the way it works there. So, um, yeah, there we go. So obviously it's just the way light travels. These planets will notice that the sun has changed before the other ones. Like Earth has already escaped past where uh, Uranus's orbit is now. So yeah, these are just gone. <laughs> so we just speed it up. The whole system is just going to break into pieces, as we can see here. So um, is the sun still in the middle? The sun's barely moving. Look at it. It's just yeah, that thing's barely moving. It's just completely cooled down now to a boring-looking gas giant. So there is that, and everything else is just gone. E even the goblin out here, even that started moving. So. Yeah, completely gone. So that's scenario one. But we'll go into it again. So obviously that's the end of that. So scenario two. We are going to, um, yeah, we'll have it paused. We're going to put it to, yeah, one Jupiter. So like that. And then we're going to go auto orbit. So auto orbit is somewhere. Oh, no, no, wait. Um, Forgotten how you do it. To if I, I've, I think I've just, auto orbit used to be here. Other reverse time. Have I, am I blind? I don't know where it is. <laughs> Where's auto orbit gone? Ah, there we go. Perfect. That's what we want. Oh, so it's because it was down like that. Okay. There we go. So auto orbit. Perfect. So, okay. Oh my god, look at this. So, looks like the gas giants are not going to orbit this very well. We can see uh, these guys are all gone crazy. So, if we click play. So now we're in a binary orbit. With, the sun's in a binary orbit with Earth now. Look at that. So not even with Jupiter. So Jupiter, look, and then um, this this little object over here, that's now orbiting Saturn because the sun is just not strong enough to hold them all together. Jupiter has stolen Vesta, it looks like. Yeah, there's Vesta there. So that is very interesting. But the, obviously all the planets are going to cool down now because, yeah, there's, no, there's no, not even a star anymore. It's just a gas giant, so that's going to cool down. But as we can see here, it's just utter chaos for the objects out here. As we can see, they're just completely crazy. So a lot of the objects will probably escape the system, I'm guessing, here. So the inner solar system is not too bad because Jupiter's still out here. Oh, no, Jupiter's in a binary orbit with Saturn now. Look at that. So are those two going to escape or are they going to uh, head back inwards again? Looks like they may escape, actually. Look at that. So Jupiter and Saturn are in a binary orbit. Still got some of the other objects orbiting. Oh, my God, look at this. This is crazy. So we've got Uranus, which looks like it's going to head inwards to the inner solar system. If Uranus heads close, it's probably going to take over Earth's binary orbit. But I don't think it's going to uh, do anything because it just can't even get to the center. Jupiter and Saturn still orbit on each other, just chilling out there. And we're traveling a lot of years at, um, right now as well. So, yeah, the, the inner solar system is... Okay, I mean, it's okay. I mean, it is getting messed up. All see there. Look, as you can see, 
Venus and Mercury's orbits are changing. Mars's orbit is very unstable as well there. Saturn is now hit back in the inner solar system again. Oh, God. Oh, my God. And Jupiter's back as well. Oh, dear. So Saturn or, or, or Mars, sorry, has just been completely tossed out. Oh, my God. So that's crazy. Oh, my. Can't even keep track of everything that's going on here. But Saturn is very, very close to the sun now. Or what's left of the sun. Oh, my God. So there's that. And, yeah, Saturn has just destroyed all the inner solar system orbits there. So there, there all guys are all gone now. Look at this. What even is this now? It's not even a solar system anymore. It's just a massive jumbo amount of planets. <laughs> so that is that. Okay, so is it gonna... Okay, come on, keep running, game. Let me get some more carnage going on. But yeah, the sun is now in a binary orbit with Saturn, it looks like. And then the other inner planets are just here for the ride. It seems. Um, Jupiter, maybe Jupiter will get out the system. I, I don't know. Right now, because it is just chilling out there. It's now in orbit with Saturn again. Jeez, it's just gone crazy. So Saturn's in the binary orbit of the sun, but Jupiter's trying to orbit Saturn. That doesn't make sense since Saturn has less mass. I don't even know what's going on. It's like Saturn trying to be in two binary orbits at once. Like, oh God, we've got Earth coming in again. You'll see they're all freezing cold as well since there's no sun. But yeah, now the whole system is just a total mishmash. I mean, look at this. It's just, look how all the orbits have changed. Like we can see... That's just a complete mess in the middle. At least Mercury's still okay, right? It's still uh, getting a little close there. See, there's Mercury, but everything else is just gone. Look at this. So Dust on Mars is all the way out at the distance of almost Sedna now in the Dwarf Planet section. Uranus and Neptune also in the Dwarf Planet section there. So, yeah, not very good news for them. Even Here's Pluto. So it looks Yeah, look, this is where Pluto originally was, it seems. How far away is it? Oh, Pluto's only... Only takes 900 years to go around. Oh my god, what is happening? <laughs> Damn. This is just this is just broken. Jupiter, 700 years. So everything's just been pushed away further. Look at the sun though. It's still warm. Is it cooling down? Still, yeah, it's still cooling down. Yeah, look at it. it's going crazy, just spinning around. There's so only one Jupiter mass that is just gonna go stone cold. So Saturn, Earth. Yes, yeah, so this is just carnage now. Like we'll speed it up again. To um, watch a bit more here, but look at this, it's just ruined. <laughs> Rest in peace to the solar system here, there's just nothing left at all. We wouldn't even really call this a system anymore, it's now just a bunch of objects that are really, really close to each other in the Milky Way, I guess. Just with one dead sun in the middle, and then a few gas giants. Like, this is just this is just an unstable piece of mess at this point, so um, yeah, there we go, that is that. So, um, we could try one more scenario with this that's what we'll do so here is um obviously the sun so what we're going to do with you is we're going to halt all velocities let's see we'll go back to um this and then we're going to um yeah auto orbit and then we need to put you back to uh, one jupiter quickly so there we go one jupiter that's what we want there we are right now halt all velocities where is that add velocity rotation oh there we go halt all velocities okay now let's see what happens this isn't going to be good is it so play all right, let's see what happens. So they're going to orbit, or they're going to crash into the object. Yeah, look, it looks like it's pulling them in. Okay, so let's see what happens here. This isn't good. Oh, dear, there's Mercury going into the sun already, and it's gone. So that's not good. Venus and Earth are all coming in now. Obviously, the closer you are to the um, sun, the quicker you'll be pulled in due to like um, how far or due to the distance. So, yeah, there is all of those. Just like the speed of light, if the sun turned off, Mercury would see it first, Pluto would see it last due to the distance at or the speed at light travels, but yeah, we won't get into that now. So that's the whole inner solar system gobbled up already. Oh my god, look at this. So yeah, everything else is getting pulled in. Like we can see Vesta, Ceres, Pallas, that all of the asteroid belt objects are getting pulled in. It looks like Hygieia and Mrs. Spock are actually getting pulled into Jupiter instead, so that's not very good. But Jupiter on a collision course with the Sun. They both have one mass of Jupiter. Well, now that has 1.01. So this could be quite a close little battle here. Let's see, um, see who wins this. So, yeah, the two big titans of the uh, system here. Let's see what goes down. If they can actually get to each other. Because, yeah, this isn't running very quickly right now. Because of the amount of objects in here that aren't orbiting. So, there you go. You can see all the asteroid belt objects aren't doing too bad there. Okay, here we go. So, yeah, we'll slow down time. Play. Oh, they're getting close. Oh, dear. So there it is over there. 
We can, we can even see Jupiter already. Look at that. So, um, slow down a bit more. Play. Oh, my God. Look how close they are. Uh, slow down a bit more. Play. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, and it just ate up Jupiter straight away. Oh, dear. So, that's now got two Jupiter masses there. 2.01. So, there is that. So, any more contenders out here? Where's Saturn at? Saturn, hello? Where you at? Okay, you're over there. So, you're still heading inwards, it looks like. But since it's already had that collision with Jupiter, that could have messed up the... Um, could have messed up um, having a collision with Saturn. It looks like these objects have been tossed out as well just due to that collision. Okay, let's um, keep it up. So let's keep going. So those guys look like they've just been completely tossed out. So Saturn is now going to go in against the sun. Won't have any luck though. Saturn will lose 100%. Okay, so we're going to delete these guys since I think they're creating a bit of lag. There we go. Speed it up a bit. They're so insignificant anyway. It doesn't really matter. So yeah, but just pretend they're all gone or ejected or just orbs in. There we go. So Saturn... Is it going to go in the sun? Oh my. Oh my. Look how close they were. Saturn just lost a load of mass. He just got so close at the roosh limit of the star. Just tried tossing out. Oh my god. Look how quick it's going. Oh my. Whoa. Whoa. Look how quick. Look how far away Saturn is. It's almost at the distance of the goblin now. <laughs> Damn. Okay. So who's next? I'm guessing Uranus. Oh no. Uranus has already had a um, collision with the sun. Okay. So Neptune... Where's the sun gone? Oh my god, the sun got ejected from that Saturn collision as well. They both ejected each other completely. So, look at that. So now the solar system has nothing, no gravity in the middle. So everything's just going to fly away now. Look at that. So there we go. And that's the end of that. So there we go. Oh, look how slow the goblin is and Planet Nine. They're just so far away that they get affected way less. But there you go. Now they're, now they're moving. But yeah, look at that. So everything's just going to move on from this part in space and just travel into deep space forever. And they'll never see each other again there. But... Yeah, there we go, guys. So that is it if we put the sun to one mass of Jupiter and then three possible scenarios um, which could happen there. Obviously, it probably will never happen where the sun is at one mass of Jupiter, unless it's a white dwarf. But yeah, the sun has completely cooled down now. So yeah, eight Jupiter. But after that, Saturn got pulled very close. They didn't collide, but they ejected each other. So when all the other objects came to the center of the solar system, they just all slung out the other direction because they didn't have anything to collide with. So... Yeah, there is that. And we are very far away from the sun. Look at 294 light years. But yeah, there we go, guys. That is it for today's video there. So yeah, if you um like the video, let's see if we can go for 40 likes on this video. So yeah, make sure you click that like button. Also, like I said, if you're new, subscribe helps on the journey to 5,000 subscribers because we are really, really close. Obviously, a massive thanks for watching this video. And yeah, if you're new, check out some of my other videos. And yeah, that is pretty much everything. So if you've got any more idea, if you've got any more ideas for other what if videos, then let me know down below in the comments because I always um check those out within 24 hours of video going up. But yeah, that is everything, guys. So um yeah, I will see you guys in the next video and make sure you have a great day. Goodbye.